Welcome back everybody, Fuelish Garage here. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I've got this 93 OBS Ford here with the Dana 50 TTV front end. I'm gonna be doing a full disassembly on this thing, show you guys every step to get everything out of it so you can replace any bearing or seal that you need to replace. Hopefully you guys will find this video informational. If you do, like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And uh, I know there's been, there's not a whole lot of information about these front ends on here. This is why I wanna make this video so you guys can see what it takes to get everything out of here, replace what you need to replace, and get your truck back on the road. This is a little sneak peek of another project I got going on. A couple more back there. I have two things I wanna show you guys today. Here are some of the tools that you're gonna need for this job, and here is a tool that I bought and made a little piece for it. I will show you that in a minute. First of all, I've got a couple different variations of breaker bars, ratchets, 3 8 half inch. I've got a couple little screwdrivers here, and 11 16 socket, three quarter inch, and these are both 14 mil. You're gonna need a couple of hammers, a nice size pry bar, some, something to scrape some gaskets off with, a little pick tool, 90 degree, some die cutters, and I have a seal puller here. Now, I wanna show you guys this tool real quick before we jump into the video. Real quick, before we jump into the video, I wanna show you the socket I bought online. It is a universal spindle puller for pulling various spindles. It's gonna save you a lot of headache when you're trying to take these things off. There has three different size threads for various spindles, and this is the size thread for your slide hammer that it's meant for. Now, I didn't have a slide hammer, so I had this half inch by 20 all thread, it's called, and I just cut it to length and threw two nuts on there. I was gonna weld them together and use it like a puller. So I just wanted to demonstrate how this tool works. You're gonna just thread it onto the spindle there and then run the fastener in until it's hitting the axle and then put your impact gun on there and hit it until it pops the spindle loose. Your spindle bearings inside of the spindle that ride on the axle there and this is on the driver's side and you'll be able to just pull your axle right out of this one. And right here to be able to see that the driver's side axle U-joint is totally just whooped right here. You'll be able to see right here on the driver's side where the axle seal was leaking. There's a little pool of gear lube on the TTV arm. I've got this side already taken apart. We're going to be jumping into this side and showing you all the steps there are to get in to take the axle out and then remove your drive shaft and get your third member out of the truck. So we can put axle seals in it and a new diff cover seal. So obviously, first thing you're going to do is take your lug nuts off. Pull your wheel off. All right, got your lug nuts off. Get that out of the way. First thing you want to do is just get this caliper out of the way. You're going to want to either get a big screwdriver or a flat blade chisel and punch these caliper guide pins out. Get the caliper and set it on the leaf spring and get it out of the way there. Next thing you want to do, go ahead and Break all these guys loose. Once you got those guys broken loose, I like just to come in here and zip them out. Okay. And then next thing is the C clip right in here. I like to come there with the screwdriver. Get it out of its slot there. And don't if you if you break it. 
that's not going to be good. So you want to work your way slowly around it, just like a piston ring. You don't want to take too big of bites and it'll come out like that. Now this is where I realized I didn't have snap ring pliers. So what I just did here was kind of work it off with a screwdriver until I could pull it off of there. And then you're going to want to go ahead and just take your four wheel drive hub out. So once you have that four wheel drive hub out, you will see that there are some wheel bearing nuts in there that have this type of shape to them. You can get this socket at your local auto parts store. You're gonna see right here that I didn't even have to break that loose with the ratchet. That was already loose and should not be. It should be torqued down. Dang. I could tell with the fresh red grease in here that someone's been into this before. And then, so once you take the first nut off, there's gonna be a washer behind that. You see that washer there. I'm going to go ahead and pull that off with a screwdriver. So now you're going to want to go ahead and take off the last wheel bearing nut that is the preload. This nut sets the preload on the wheel bearing. So go ahead and remove that. The way this works is this is the inner wheel bearing nut that sets the preload. It has this little metal nipple on it right there which this middle washer has a bunch of holes on and slips over it like that locking in and then the outer wheel bearing nut gets torqued down to jam the inner one in and keep holding the preload where it's supposed to be now you're going to want to go ahead and pull the hub off once you've got your wheel bearing nuts off 11 16th socket here to pull these spindle nuts off Once you have those nuts removed, you can go ahead and use our spindle removal tool and pull this spindle off the truck, exposing the axle. On the passenger side axle here, it has a split shaft and all you have to do is pull that metal clip off with your pliers there and break the seal on the rubber boot and then it'll split right apart. So once you've got the axle split then you'll be able to go back over to the knuckle and pull it right out of there. Next, I used a 13 mil wrench to take the front drive shaft bolts out and I had a friend hold it with a pry bar so it wouldn't spin. Pop it free with the pry bar there, and then I was able to pull it down out of the way so we can get that third member out. So in the next step here, you want to use a three quarter inch socket on these two bolts that hold the third member onto the TTV arm. And you can see the yoke on the top right there. This is on the passengers on the driver's side of the vehicle. And you're going to use your breaker bar here. That's where it's going to come in handy because these bolts are pretty tight. So you want to remove those two to free up the third member and then we'll move on to the diff cover bolts. Now onto the diff cover bolts, you're gonna grab a 14 millimeter socket and start taking out all of the diff cover bolts. You're gonna to wanna to start at the bottom because I'm gonna leave the top two loose right here. I'm gonna leave the top two loose, just thread them out about halfway so that I can crawl into there and get a pry bar onto the diff cover and break it loose with those two top bolts still in there so that I can drain all the fluid out of the diff and then we'll get ready to pull it out of the truck. So 
So now I've got a transmission jack supporting the third member. You could also use a regular jack as well. And I'm getting ready to pull these last two bolts out while I have a friend support it. And there is a breather that is up on the top right of the diff. You're going to pull the hose off that. And you're going to want to twist the diff to the right and tilt it, tilt the back of it upwards to be able to sneak that breather nipple under the TTB arm in order to get the third member out of the truck. You can see uh, we were able to tilt it back and get that breather out of there right there, rip the hose off. Now we were able to tilt it backwards and set it down onto our jack and get it on the bench to where we can get some new seals in it. Now to prep the diff cover for the third member to go back in, you want to get a razor blade or a flat chisel like this and just come around and try to get all of this, since there's no gasket, just get all of this gasket maker and get it all nice and clean and degrease it for the new seal all right so to pull these diff seals slash axle seals there's a little clip in here that you got to pop out with a screwdriver and then you want to keep the driver's side axle in because you don't want to take both axles out while you have or else your planetary gears will all fall apart. So now that you have the clip out and one side in, you can pull this side out. I'm gonna replace the U-joint while I'm in here. Get your, this is uh, it's actually called a seal puller. Get the lip in there. I'm just going to pop this C clip back in the axle. the seal puller again and try to get this out probably not gonna probably not gonna work because this is weird now it's gonna leak huh Now I put a little bit of sealant on the edge of that seal right there where it meets against the case, not the rubber part, but the outer part of the seal. And then I used a kind of a scrap piece of metal here that's got a flat side on it. And I put the flat side on the seal and then kind of hammered it in there so it would go in evenly. And then you're gonna wanna tap all the way around it to make sure that it is fully seated against the diff. Now here I've got the diff cover on the TTB arm all cleaned up and degreased. I've got some more uh, silicone that I'm going to be, or gasket maker, whichever you prefer. I've got some of that that I am smearing around the uh, diff cover area. And you're also going to want to make sure that you keep the actual third member gasket surface clean too. And just put a nice liberal coating around 
the uh, diff cover area there and then it'll be ready for the third member to go back in. Now I've got the third member back on my jack here and I'm raising it back up under the truck to get ready to install it back into the TTV arm. And in the next video, I'm going to show the full assembly of this rear of this front end and I'll show you more about the U joints and stuff, but make sure if you, if, if that U joint needs to be replaced, you do that while you have that stub shaft out because you have to take that little clip off inside the diff to get that off. So you don't want to be doing it under the truck like that. It's not going to be very fun. So now I'm getting it up off the jack and into its spot where the gasket sealer is. And then I'm going to go ahead and move my jack a little bit backwards so that it touches the back side of the pumpkin and raises it up a little bit because there's you have to raise it up a little bit off the bottom of the TTB arm to get the bolts in it. Now you can see it's all in its happy spot supported by the jack. And I'm going to go ahead and try to start threading in my first couple of bolts to hold it in place and support it so I can remove my jack. So now I'm starting one of the bolts in there. You're probably going to not want to use an impact gun like I am. And uh, just get a couple of them started and get them snugged up so it sucks the pumpkin up against the arm and gets that sealant to squash down and let that sealant dry before you put any fluid in it. So right here I had a little trouble with getting one of the bolts in so I had to use a pick to pick out some of the old silicone from the factory. All right, now that I got the third member back in the truck and the bolt started, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten them all down in a star pattern. And uh, that's gonna be about it for this video. I'm gonna go ahead and start the reassembly in the next video. I'm gonna start off right where I left off here. We just have the third member in the truck with the diff cover bolts tightened down and that's it. I haven't done anything else. So I'm gonna start the rest of it off in the next video. So make sure you guys watch that. All back together, spindle bearings and seals, wheel bearings. I got U-joints, brake pads. I'm be throwing this thing all back together, getting it back on the road. So make sure you guys go watch that next video. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. I appreciate you guys watching. So yeah, get on it. We're going to get this guy back on the road.